The show page for a podcast is where you're going to be able to view things like a summary of the show, a list of episodes, along with ratings and reviews. Let's start in the Browse tab, and I'm going to tap on a podcast that I'm not yet following. That brings us to the show page. From here, I can begin following this podcast, or start listening to the latest episode, or choose one in the list below. Scroll down and some podcasts will have a trailer that will provide a preview of what you're typically going to hear on the show. We can also see the hosts and guests that are on the show, and a little further down, ratings and reviews. We're able to submit our own rating or review of the podcast from here as well. Over on the iPad, let's jump to the show page for Smartless, which I'm already following. To do so, I'm going to tap and hold on this episode and then go to show. Here in the episode list, we can activate a filter to only show episodes that are unplayed or only those that have been downloaded to this device. From the ellipsis button in the upper right, we can go to show settings. Show settings are only going to be available for podcasts that we're following. I'll switch to the Amateur Traveler show page over on my iPhone. Within the show settings panel, we can unfollow the show or turn off notifications. This is going to apply only to this show, so other podcast notifications are still going to come through. Next, we can choose to sort the episode list from oldest to newest, or newest to oldest. Some podcasts tell a story over many episodes, so for those, you'll probably want to switch this to play oldest to newest. Once episodes have been played and completed, we can set them to be hidden here. This can also be set for all podcasts in the Settings app, which we'll talk about later on. In the download section, we can set how many episodes to keep on this device for a specific show. This can be done for a certain amount of episodes or a certain amount of time. If you keep too many downloaded podcast episodes, your iPhone or iPad could start filling up with all the storage they use. My default setting here is to remove downloaded episodes after 30 days. If you have a show that releases an episode every day, or even several episodes every day, you'll probably want to limit what's downloaded to just the last five episodes, or just those from the last week. We can also have downloaded episodes that have been played to be automatically removed. So once you follow a show and start listening to it, it's a good idea to get its show settings dialed in to exactly how you want to be able to listen to it. 